Literally last second sound check. Good evening, and welcome to Dishonored. I need to adjust a couple of things. Let's see, I gotta capture the screen, don't I? Keep holding down Alt for the Alt tab. Game capture. Gotta change you each time, I guess, for these two. How's that? Can you see it? All right. We may be good to go. Might have to play around with some of the the framings too so yeah uh played this game like five years ago loved it recently saw dishonored 2 for sale for like six bucks on steam so i was like well maybe i should play that dishonored again and buy dishonored 2 and then play both of them yeah I think you can, uh, change this at any time. Where's the dark symbol? Oh, make sure I, I know which one's the darkest. Okay. I think that's good. Yeah. Okay. Looks a little bit brighter on the stream, I think. At least in OBS it does. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Returning home. You have just returned from a journey of several months. Visiting the other nations in the Empire to ask for aid in dealing with the Rat Plague. You must deliver their diplomatic response to the Empress whom you serve as Lord Protector. Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else. And the spy master was right to insist that I send you. As the software presents. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Oh. An Arcane Studios production. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. We're going to count by fives, because, you know, we got other stuff to do. But we'll count them. Oh yes, Renhaven River, where the Rens go to hide. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Oh, hello. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news Whoa. for the Empress, and we've come a long way. Yeah, I do. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. You don't need help with the whales. They seem to be well under control. All them birds are on the whale. That's nice uh, attention to detail. Makes you feel like there's real living things here with you. We're going up. Ready. Turn it on the pipes. And she's rising. 
Oh man, we're getting all wet. Wee jumps. Uh, what's over here? Uh, guys? You, you know never get tired of running. Time? Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these new machines are touchy. Mm -hmm. Just don't do anything crazy. Sokolov's changed everything again, and we don't know what the hydraulics can do now. We've got him here today doing a portrait. If there's a time to try something, it's now. There he is. Good boy, sir. Yeah, yeah, I was alright. Welcome back, Lord Protector. Thanks, good to see you. Good to be here. Word up. Fewer ships moving along the river now, with the plague and all. Oh, yeah, the plague. It's a real problem, isn't it? Hello, sir. Hi there. The spy master is with her, but she'll want to see you right away. That's fair. I should probably not keep her waiting. Oh, hey. you're back. Yeah. Hi there, you. Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? I saw one in, on the ship on the way in. Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You uh, have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Oh, she's busy talking to the nasty spy master. Well, okay then. Why didn't you say? Okay, here we go. Did you see any monsters while traveling to the other isles? My nanny says the big ocean's full of them. But I think she only says that to scare me. Yeah, there were big, awesome-looking monsters, and there was epic fights that all happened before the game started. Me. It's way more epic than anything we're going to see here during this game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. Oh. Oh. Now C to enter stealth mode, then stay behind cover. Okay. Uh. Well, here's pretty good. One, two, Maybe further away. Three. I thought that arrow was pointing to the hiding place, but I think it's still pointing to the Empress Yadis. Well, too late now. We're hiding here. Press Q or E. Q E. Q R. That's a vocal warm up I learned recently. Because it stretches your mouth in two directions. Good thing I didn't hide over there. Okay, you win. We should go now, so mother can see you too. Ta da! Woo! One game, I win. Ah. While you were gone, mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I I might have missed her. I I don't know. There's no dialogue options here. Mother, would you marry me? <laughs> Welcome home, so cute. Lord Protector. Hi there, buddy. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. <laughs> what you Show doing? my improvements to the water lock. Oh, yeah, I know. It seems to work. Did it not before? 
Hey, buddy. It was a fool's errand, Corvo. The plague comes from inside us. We must all strengthen our faith. Uh... I overseer. I must ask you to hold your pose. <laughs> Things. She'll see you at once. Nope, too busy. Ooh, nice palace. Hey, buddy. Jeff Kerr now. Jeff Kerr later. It's been good traveling with you, Corvo. Oh yeah, I guess we're uh, there together, is it? Oh hey man. No time to talk. Made stuff. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're they're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. Sick criminals. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. Mm. As you wish, Your Majesty. It's me, Corvo. Corvo, two days early, full of surprises, mm. as usual. Hello there. Everyone seems scared because of the rat plague. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news have you brought? Uh, here. I brought this letter. It's a big old goose egg, apparently. Apparently. I that one of the other cities had dealt with this before. Knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Yeah, we're all fine. Wait, where are the guards? Uh, Who sent them away? What the? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Oh no, parkour! Okay. Okay. Emily, get behind me. Look out. Another one. <laughs> Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here. No more. Not again. Oh no. No. Get away from her. Magic. No. I had Corvo. one job. It's all coming apart. Find, find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one who'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. Presumably the game will explain what to do. Oh, hi. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. I want a second what opinion. What do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Dishonored. That's my status, too. I went from being honored to dishonored. Six months have passed since you were accused by the royal spymaster of murdering the Empress and conspiring to abduct her daughter Emily, the royal heir. Now, locked away in Cold Ridge Prison, the time of your execution draws near. Here it comes, look out! Bleh! Oh, Cold Ridge Prison. Ugh. Sign the confession, and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. No. Uh. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. You're a terrible host. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. 
I know. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak, and that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time, and someone has to take the fall. <laughs> Goodbye, Corvo. Yeah, TT FN. It might well kill. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Ah, friendly meal. Well, if it's a friendly meal, I suppose. Oh, anonymous message, eh? Corvo. Who we are is irrelevant right now. Just know that we have faith in you. Here is the key to your cell. Once you're out, head for the prison's interrogation room. Take the explosive there and plant it on the outer door. When the bomb goes off, run. Make for the water, uh, river and lose yourself in the sewers. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. And good luck. We need you alive and well for what's to come. Okie dokie. Well, do I have anything in here to take with me? Not at all. Tell me again what you'll do if Slack John is Bottle Street Boys jump. You always amuse me. Ah, and some loose change. Cool, cool. How come so many people are coming to the execution tomorrow? Ooh. Abducted her daughter Emily. So it's an occasion. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I either stab him or. A social event for the high and mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. They're as bad as us betting on the dog fight. Attention. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crew, unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Let's see if you like it. Haha. <laughs> Whoa. Can't see me here. Right? Maybe. How old did you say your sister was? Can I search this guy? Does he have the key, maybe? No. <laughs> Snore. Wow. So stealthy. Is he gonna notice he's missing? <laughs> Do I have to kill one of them? <laughs> What if I hide over here? Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel Oops. assigned to the event and approved dignitary hey, only. Kill a guard for me, will you? Well, I'll probably have to do that, but I'll try not to. Ridiculous. Stupid rats. It's the same as elixir. Bunch of crap. Hey buddy. <laughs> buddy. Got him. I can't run. That's okay. Here, look, I made one go unconscious for you. Oh, wait, do you have a key? Do I just have the key now? Scheduled in advance with one week's notice. 
thought I saw the key on that guy. Was that the second guy I got? So I gotta be real careful what order I do things in this game? I just forgot. Well, there's some good not killing people anyway. Kill rats though, that's fine. They got the plague. They spread the plague. Well, let's get the gun. Ooh. Soaker loves health elixir. I hope nobody else decides to use this. Any of my enemies, per se. Alright. Okay, so you can climb pretty high up in this, actually. Kind of grind hagfish now. Potted whale meat. I'm not really hungry. Not that that doesn't sound delicious or anything. I'm just not hungry. Okay, good, good. You've got the key for sure. There, okay. Now the key's been added. Does it tell me what keys I have somewhere? Corvo sell a key in the yard walk by key. Okay, so I never got that other key anyway. So there is a way you can see. Unless accompanied by an officer of the walk. Escort through the solitary way must be scheduled in advance. This is just the door I was at. Yeah, it is. Stealth. Stealth, I say. You draw my weapons back, then. Good stuff. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. <clears throat> Whoops. That, around the corner, please. That, there we go. I want to put it a little bit out of sight. You know? Nope, can't go in there. Strictly off limit, even the gamers. Someone just left some money here for me. And some rats. Just do my part to stop the plague. Attention. Hiccup? The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance. Take this bottle with me. Week's notice. Maybe I should key ring that. Key hold that thing. Anybody here? Alright, good stuff. I think I'm alone now. I think I'm alone now. Duty officer's report. Duty officer's report. Corvo's interrogation. Corvo Atano. 
formerly the Royal Protector, will be brought in for an interrogation. This is of the utmost importance. The Lord Regent and High Overseer Campbell will conduct the questioning themselves, follow their orders without hesitation, and keep the torturer under control. If Corvo dies in his hands, instead of getting the public execution the Lord Regent wants, it'll be your head that rolls next. Or, you know, instead of. On account that Corvo's head would not be rolling. Yeah. When he wakes, we'll start again. Having him sign the confession for her murder isn't critical, but it might be useful to us later. The assassination of an empress is not a trivial matter. Plenty of empty bottles and such around here. Lots of food, too. Aha! So, this is the explosive. Now, I know where to put it, right? Yes. <laughs> I have no idea, but Corvo knows. Anybody show- Oh, somebody did show up. Maybe I can catch him unawares up here somewhere. Just like this. <laughs> Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event. So you're gonna give up, guys? Only. You give up? Going back? You guys? I don't think they're giving up. I think I have to kill them. guys. Then I have to do that. You can probably tell I didn't want to have to do that because my timing was suddenly off now for this portion of it. I might get better at it. We'll see. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must How's everybody be scheduled in advance. Both of them? Both of them? Notice. Yeah. Probably could have snuck around here a little bit better. Anything in here? No? Just on top of it? Okay. Corvo's execution is tomorrow. I think I can... You know what? I'm going to see if I can adjust my... There's, whoop, nope, that's the wrong one. There's nothing in the top right, is there?
You know, I shouldn't change that too much because I need it to be sort of there for Civilization 6, which isn't quite done yet. Having fun playing that Civ 6. Having fun playing this Dishonored so far. Resume. Yeah, but everything has to be set up today. Gotta use these keys. I can't wait to see his head roll. Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. Let me know if you want to gamble on the hounds again. <laughs> Oh, for freak's sake. I wonder where it's saved. I keep trying to right click to block. Maybe that was a thing I... Oh, it's right here. Like right clicking to block just seems a lot more intuitive. I'll give it a shot. I'll give, uh, yeah. Back here already. Hey, I heard you got eaten a lot of Attention. times. Please. Tomorrow's Not execution now. will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. <laughs> what? too many people. Oh yeah, I was. Well, sorry fellas. Didn't really want to kill you. Ooh, brined hagfish. Oh, tin of Pratchett jelly deals. Don't mind if I do. Unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. I think there was food Every just over here. The solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one was it pretty far? Because now I'm hungry. Gotta go right through. <laughs> Little raddies, they're not food. All full of plague and stuff anyway. Isn't there a bunch of food somewhere? Just run through and grab it somewhere. Torture room food? Oh, right, in the storage room next to the torture room. Of course we keep the food in there, right? Oh, wait, no, this is Trials of Aptitude. Interesting. Excerpt from a book on the esoteric practices of the Abbey. Once a child shows the proper inclination, he is marked. Overseers are assigned to study the subject surreptitiously in order to determine whether this inclination is supported by cosmological conditions and other signs. Ongoing throughout the year. At the end of the cycle, those befitting further testing are removed from their homes some hours before dawn and must begin the march to an outpost outside the city. There the children undergo ritual preparation and evaluation until the last night of the month of rain, when they make a pilgrimage to Whitecliffe so it's much more difficult if they're taken there right before the end of that month. During an elaborate ceremony, it is determined which of the children will become overseers and which must be put down. Ooh, ooh, damn, society's kind of harsh. Yeah. No, 
there's a bunch of food somewhere. Attention. Tomorrow's execution Must be about to walk by it. Something shiny? No. Only. Not for sure I found some. Oh, hey. The money I missed. But too bad I came back here after all. For sure there was a bunch of food somewhere. Oh, well, here's some food anyway. Just close that. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. I did it. More violence than I wanted, but I did it. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You son of a bitch. I didn't want to do this. You bastard. Oh, you can reach me from there. Oh. A few people, actually. Okay, so I think it's better using control for those other things. Okay, okay. So I gotta get in the habit of sneaking around and then, like, sticking my head out. So clearly there's a guy up there. Did you hear that? Did not hear that. Oh no. Oh no. Well, the guy didn't see me that time. Sounds like he's sleeping soundly. Huh? Oh, jeez. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't have my see-through walls power yet. Otherwise, I wouldn't have alerted you. All the canned fish. All for Corvo. That's the... Whoops. I still keep on left controlling for... Crouch, because that's what it is in other games. I take it I jump in there. jump. Why wouldn't I? Look, look at me. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. Could have been anything. Could have been an otter. Yes. Do not stay here. Go to the sewers. Staying here would mean murdering somebody else or getting killed for sure. Anybody living in the sewers or guarding the kind of explosive to blast his way out. That there is. Happen by accident. You think he had help? Who know how to do that? Bottle Street gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. But if we're lucky, one of them will get Corvo. You're afraid of him? He's Sir Conan. 
Corvo, if you're reading this, it means our plan worked and you've broken free from Cordridge. One of our contacts has hidden weapons for you somewhere deeper in these sewers. Grab the gear and find Samuel where these tunnels dump out into the river. He will bring you to us. A friend will meet you soon. All merchants and whores down there. Kids like you. You never saw what he was like. I saw him fight three to one in the practice yard. In a whirlwind. I hope it's me that finds him. I hope it is too. It may be me that finds you. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh. Oh. That wasn't the sound of them finding me. That was the sound of the rats finding them. Whoa. Them piranha rats, though. Oh, my God. Well, something's going on about this plague. There's something about plaguey that they don't know. Hello? Uh, anything in here? Just go under the rats. I don't think there's anything useful up here anyway. Alright. Really thin board to go across? Sure. Yeah, nobody else is here right now. Damien's journal? Who's Damien? Amanda and I only had enough coin to buy half the elixir we needed. Even that's all gone now. And there's nothing to do but wait. We're very sick and there's no place above to hide from the city watch. They're breaking into houses all over our district. So we'll stay here and share the last hours together. Our fire will keep the rats away. But they'll inherit this city. Ooh. Aww. Aww, that's them. Aww. Got the raddies got him. Anything in there? No, nothing. Alright. Let's just get out of that sewer water after another refreshing dip. Anybody in here? No? Nobody? Okay. Oh, you know what? That probably opens that door. There's no way to get through. Uh anything down here? Nope. Get out of there. Get one, Corvo. There we go. Okay, excuse me, sir. I think you'll be much more comfortable down there. Being dead and all. I'm not hungry again. Let's see if I can remember that's over there this time. Oh. Hello. Supposed to blow the bodies in the carts headed to the flooded district? Yeah. But screw that. That's too far. I don't want to catch the plague, do you? No. Doesn't the elixir prevent it? Maybe. Either way, let's just dump them down there like the rats. Okay, so I gotta get through that door. Uh. Okay, so I gotta get to that wheel. So if I give the rats enough to eat over here, I should just be able to walk over here and do this. Nothing horrifying going on behind me at all. Attention, oh. Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne has temporarily escaped state custody. Any evidence as to his whereabouts must be delivered to the city watch at once.
Climb chains by jumping on and pressing F. Oh, okay. Ouch. Oh, I had coins. A rat skewer. Nope. You know what? I'm not hungry. Not just because that's uh, disgusting. Actually not hungry. Anybody? Guards? What are you? Oh, copper wire. That's worth a little something something. A rotten Tyvian pear. Um, you know what? I had rotten Tyvian pear for lunch, so... Right. Oh, I can trigger you. Whoa! Damn. Oh, cool. We got some money. Oh, hang on. There's a lot of bottles around here. No, there's nobody up there. No need to use any of these bottles right now. Anything down here? Anything down here? Nope, it's just shadow. Oh, can I loot you? I can. You had some money. And you had some copper wire. You had a little bit of change on you. Cool, cool. Got some water. Not going to be breaking any speed records. Got to try and take this slow so I don't have to kill too many people. Loot? Oh yeah, 10 coins. Thanks, buddy. Definitely, definitely appreciate all this monetary help you folks are giving me. Dead or otherwise, you know. Uh, sure the Empress would approve were she alive. To the Lord Protector. Greetings, Corvo. Or should I say Lord Protector? As you were known before, that title was wrongfully taken from you. We are servants of the Empire and of the true Empress, a group of loyalists who want very much to meet you. Take these weapons, crafted for you of the finest materials on the Isles, and meet with our man, Samuel, near where these tunnels spill into Renhaven River. All haste and luck. We share a common purpose. Oh, cool. Uh, special equipment. Special? Oh yeah, that's quieter than again. What the? Uh. Press and hold middle mouse button for the quick access wheel. Okay. Well, I'd rather do the sleep dart so I get the good ending. Very glad we have some of them. Only three. They don't want this to be easy or anything. They just want it to be normal. Uh... Is the slide? Why don't I just go over the side? Let's just disarm that. Good stuff, good stuff. Can I go under you? Good. Not hungry. Jelly's share. In case you're too daft to remember, look at your whiskey for the answer. Whiskey, got it? If you want your share, you'll sort it out. If not, I'll come back for it next month. Okay. So there is a whiskey bottle somewhere? Whiskey, whiskey? Whiskey? I'm guessing it says whiskey and not just empty. Hmm. 
Oh, four, five, one. Never mind. It's behind them, not on them. Combination lock. Oh, okay. Ooh, he doesn't zoom in or anything. Got it. Uh, 50 coins. At least I still get a salary. He won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. <laughs> oh, they're so funny. Smells like a dead weeper in here. Uh, how do I go? Oh, there's a way down here. There's still more bottles down there anyway. They come here to die sometimes in the dark. Come on, get up there. Slip into the water, don't come out. Anything down here? No, nothing at all. Oh, it's just another way I can get down here. Okay, sure. Sure, sure. I wonder how deep it is. I can't see the bottom. Oh, I'd kill him if I put him in there, though. Flashy, flashy. Hello? Uh oh. I know you're somewhere around here. I need another bottle, don't I? You were cooking up some rat on there, weren't you? Find you, you hagfish. Where'd you go? Is there a better place to go? Not really. Oh, jeez. It's right there. Oh, I can go in here. Okay. Didn't see anything. Maybe I should just leave. Maybe I should just go. Got a little bit more hurt. It's fine. Didn't kill him. Uh oh. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair Empress Ooh. and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Any evidence Ooh, garbage meat. whereabouts must be delivered to the City Watch at once.
Any last minute secrets up here? Marvo, over here. Quickly, I'm a friend. I'm looking for secrets. Alright, I'll, I'll find out. Come. I'm Samuel. And I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Oh. Well, they said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. All right, old man, let's go. I'm not old. What's that? I said I'm not old. I'm 37. Okay. Low overall chaos. Good stuff. Missed 300 coins. Oof. We need more. More money. Oh. This is the Hound Pits pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. Oh my. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose and he don't know a thing. So we're here. His mustache? With Lord Regent mustache right under his nose? Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Looks like this guy already got torn apart a bit. I'll take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Warriors. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Okie dokie. Ah, the Hound Pits. Cool. Well, I've been streaming for about an hour, so I'm going to get up, get some more water, do a little bit of stretching, and we'll be back in four minutes with more Dishonored and me trying to be a good guy instead of the last time. See you soon.
Hello. Welcome back to Dishonored. I'm your host, Jeffrey Notepants. Thanks for joining me. Resume. Can we go there? Presumably, we'll go there eventually. Unless it's just there to look like a place we can go to to taunt us. Taunty, taunty. Anything over here? Not to get distracted from what we were trying to do or anything. Hey, I Samuel. expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. Yeah. I mean, endure spy master. Oh, Welcome hi there. To the Hound Pit Pub, sir. How may I help? Hello, sir. I am Wallace, and this is Cecilia. We have been informed of your arrival, and will do our best to stay out of your way while you conduct your business. Yes, Lydia's a servant here as well. Okie dokie. Anything going on in the street out back? Hi, Vianor. Oh, it's worth a little bit of money. Is anyone else going to go through this garbage? I'll do it if nobody else wants to. King Sparrow Feather. Oh, it's worth some money. Well. Did you guys know there was money sitting around out here? I'm a little glad you didn't. Because now I can get it. Attention all citizens. Curfew extends from sundown to sunrise unless you are otherwise authorized. Violators will be Even subject after six to interrogation months in Cold Ridge and detained when out necessary. Is nothing. Remember, yes. the we can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Maybe I should have dropped. I'm Admiral Havelock, a true servant of the Empire, like you. Yo, Havelock. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. Yeah. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group, but we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. Oh, good. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us. We're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. What skills? Sorry. You must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Who? Oh. And yes. stay loyal. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Some great smoke graphics. I love it. Really looks Good like smoke. Us, Nothing against the others, but there's no substitute for a man who's done his service for the crown. I feel like I'll be doing all the heavy lifting. Have you talked to Piero yet? Nope. He made the weapons we left for you on your way out of Coleridge Prison. Go see him when you can. Oh, cool, cool. That just goes back out there. Anybody leave any uh, more money around? I feel like I should tidy up the place. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nothing like some eels when you're really hungry. River Ooh. traffic is forbidden from landing my tip in now. the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. Doors wide open over there. Hey, Piero. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. Thanks. Weird that you charge me money for it, but, uh, you know. No, Man's got to eat, I suppose. Now the tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible menace. 
and stable whale oil. Oh, are you gonna sell these herbs? Or use them for medicine? I'll take that as no. A second solution. Excerpt from a series of newspaper articles from prominent natural philosophers by Piero Joplin. It's an article Piero wrote. It is through no fault of my own that the average citizen has expressed a preference for soaked love's elixir over my own, own formula, sold as Piero's Remedy, a name I did not choose if you must know the truth. The public has spoken its usual message of idiocy, spending their coin as a means of selecting Sokolov's formula over mine, which I believe to be equal, if not superior. Much has been made over the popularity of these concoctions as a means of resisting the remarkable new plague. I say remarkable because this strain works with an efficiency we have not seen in the history of the Empire. This plague, now making its way through the city of Dunwall, is unrivaled in its effectiveness. I have studied it within the blood of those so afflicted, and it is nearly perfect, elegant, in fact. I admire its purity. And while it is true that Piero's remedy and Sokolov's elixir are known to protect the body against the plague equally, my own has properties not fully understood which relate to the mind itself and the spirit. And it is in this way that my formula wins out. Here is where one should pay attention to this contest, where you see Sokolov's elixir, with its emphasis on the brute animal body, is a crass goo, better suited for livestock. The subtle and secret variants in the key ingredients making up Piero's remedy ensure that it works on the higher functions that separate humankind from the mindless blue-jawed hagfish swimming in the Renhaven River. <laughs> Not getting high on his elixir, maybe high on himself. Piero, no, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal? Hyvian ore? What's wrong with the metals in crystal? King Sparrow feathers? If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe at the academy everything you needed was paid for by tariff and handed out willy-nilly, but this is my bar, or what's left of it, and we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, building materials, porno, and everything else. So you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchases unless they're absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. If you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city is in ruins, so no one is going to miss any of the old crap you seem to need. Lots of love, Admiral Havelock. P.S. Don't leave any of that stuff out when Corvo gets here. He has sticky, sticky fingers. <laughs> I collected all those things. <sighs> ah. <laughs> stuff to read. Excerpt from a manual on new city watch procedures. Commissioned by the Lord Regent in the face of the growing plague crisis, the dead counter is a position that will only be given to officers, usually of junior or middle grades. In most matters of edict or curfew enforcement, these officers will defer to the acting officer on duty. However, any dead counter will have command in situations related to the plague and the handling of the dead, including those with late-stage plague symptoms called weepers in common parlance. Starting on the month of rain, interested officers may apply for the test and, if accepted, for the two-week training tour. 
A will be administered in coin and rations of elixir at one and a half normal pay grade. Oh. Middle management. Or plague. Excerpt from the notes of natural philosopher aboard a whaling ship. Remarkably, each specimen I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variants in physiology. On the second leg of the trip, east of Tyvia, the crew hauled aboard a female some 42 feet in length. I estimate she weighed 35 tons, and the ship sat low, rocking side to side through the night with her thrashing. By candlelight, I took her apart, sketching and taking notes. Against her bellowing, I cut into the mass of tentacles around her mouth. Within, I found row upon row of teeth and a baleen running along the upper jaw. Through this broom-like structure, I assume she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed. Well, that's disturbing. Excerpt from the founder of the Greaves Whale House by Ebenezer Greaves. Out at sea, they secure the beast with hooks, with lines cast from the main ship and from several smaller boats. Buoys keep the whale from diving deep. Once it's caught, a larger hook is driven through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get into them on the deck, then lift them into the scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow and returns to port in Dunwall, where the crew works on the great creature slicing off the fattest part while it still lives. Oh. Anybody here seen Avatar 2? A little bit of wailing in that. Sokolov no longer has the upper hand with a oh, whale oil refilling station. Sokolov no longer has the upper hand with regard to supplies of whale oil. The good admiral has paid for the installation of my own system, which will enable me to work in this place. The oil tank dispenser, when activated, will produce an empty vessel for billing. Uh... Okay. It's just how to use the stuff in here. Enough lore for now. Perfect. Probably. Now plug it in. Sure. Perfect. Thank you, Corpus. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face, but this mask will mean terror to them. You just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Okay. Tell me what I can make for you. Oh, let's have a look. Piero. I definitely want some uh, sleep bolts. Rewire kit upgrades. What are those? 600. Dang. Oh, immediate sleep dart effect. Okay. I don't know what those are. I kind of remember. It's been a while. Uh, you know what? That sleep dart's been more effective. That's uh, what I'm all about this playthrough. Now to get some more sleep darts. Sleep bolts, sorry. Presumably I'll find some more of these at some point. There we go. Yeah, I'll go non-lethal as much as I can for now. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Oh, thanks. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Okay. I'd like to look around for a little bit. I mean, I guess I already did. 
I look around a little bit. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. Sure. Now I looked over there. I didn't look upstairs in the pub yet. Hello? Anybody leave any unguarded valuables around? You know, for me. Care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Hi, Lydia. My, you must be Corvo. Must I? I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. Oh, thanks. Excerpt from a series of Overseer invocations by High Overseer Abram Templeton. As I say to you, brothers, it is here that we make our stand as righteous a force against the growing darkness. It is here that we unite against the spirits of the unknown that would drag us screaming into the night, never to return to our homes, to our families. Together we will serve as a rod to those who would stray from the herd, or the foggy gray wastes of the outsider. We will burn a bright fire with our virtuous actions, so that others will not lose their way. And to those who chose to wander beyond the walls of our homes in far places we will strike at them swiftly before they whisper to their neighbors filling their hearts with strangeness and doubt so killing tourists there's just some money sitting around in Emily's quarters just waiting to be taken <laughs> I won't sing the whaler song. It's cute though. It's a nice touch. What the bloody lid down? Dunwall, Excerpt from the travel journal of a whaler in his final years. A gaffer's tale, volume two, or a gaffer's final passage. After more than a quarter of a century, I am done with whaling. Too broken to continue. I've seen all the corners of the isles and made more coin than most men see in a lifetime, but it's all gone. I've lived through an emperor and watched his daughter take the throne. Fair young empress she was, but slain so young. Everything beautiful comes to die. I've eaten in every port of the known world and sailed in the loneliest waters you could imagine. I've seen the cliffs around Pandesia. Even the best of it doesn't give me an ounce of joy. The years come back across my dreams as a line of butchered bodies, long, sleek, and singing among the waves under the moonlight, only to be speared by ugly, weather-scarred men who knife each other for a good pair of boots. Each year I had less time to come home. My tongue forgot the language of small chatter, and those who lived in the cities thought me odd. My sister, Nina, hardly knew what to say to me during our visits. When she lost her business to the Lord Regent's crooked barrister, crooked barrister, I was a hundred miles east of Morley, half hand frozen from the sleet as we tracked the first bull whale we'd seen in months. I helped her as much as I could, but Nina died in the early days of the plague. None of it mattered. If I'm jaded and bitter, it's because this industry has taken away my dreams. The world has beaten me. Oh. Okay. Has spread down river, as far as the river mouth and flooded district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered state property. I wonder what a river crust is. Except from a theater play. Uh, nah. No time for fiction. Hello? Hello, unguarded belongings. Are you in here? Ah, you are. Excellent. <laughs> More Gapper's Tale, Volume 1, Admiralty and the Fleet. Ooh, maybe I'll read some of this later. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Ooh, Pub Master Room Key. Just calling me the pub master. 
Oh, hello. You weren't using this tray under your bed for anything, were you? So... What about this money in your chest? Do, 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 do. Ooh, apricot tartlet. I'm not hungry, but thank you for leaving that out. My furnishings have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which... Wallace! Please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. <sighs> well, I'll begin again tomorrow. What are you beginning again tomorrow? Master room key? Was there a master room back here I didn't open yet? Excuse me. Whoa. Hi there. You don't know what Oh, what was that? Piero still wants a word with you. He's well, he's not a diplomat, but he's a brilliant man. No, no, I talked to him already. I think we're cool. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Lady Emily Caldwin was abducted. The Admiral six served in the Navy under the Empress. But something murder. happened with the Lord Anyone Regent with that drove the Admiral out. If I understand the right. of our beloved hmm. late Empress is required to speak to the City Watch at once. Master room? I don't see any room I haven't been in. Oh, is there a room, like, in the middle here? No, that's the stairway. Hey, buddy. Just looting, I mean looking around. I don't think he heard me say looting. I think I covered it up pretty well. Ah. Corvo's chambers, where the danger music is for some reason. Attention all citizens. Curfew extends from sundown to sunrise unless you are otherwise authorized. Violators will be subject to interrogation and detained when necessary. Remember, the boldest measures are the safest. Ooh. Yeah, got it. that it? Good place to climb around up here, that's for sure. Can I make that? No, that's too high. Can't be doing... Now to run right into bed. Hey, the guys, get. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this was behind the door, eh? What do you do? Ah. Once again, I think I'll wait to read all the things. There's a few things here to read. So many things. I'm sure I'll get to them all. If I recall, I do come back here a few times. Nope. Nothing to do in there but fall through the plants off the edge. Whoa! Well, that was awkward. So awkward, I hurt myself. Well, doggone it. Maybe I heal when I sleep? Anything over here? Secrets? Secrets. Shh. No, nothing. All this empty space and no secrets. That's okay. Yeah. Come on. There we go.
No. Alrighty, this time to bed for sure. Now that we've fallen off the tower and hurt ourselves, we truly have done everything that we could. Uh, oh, hi. I guess you can stay. Just, you know, be quiet while I'm sleeping. I'm sure you're used to that sort of thing. Ooh, chair money. Oh, it's really warm. Oh, and some floor money. That's good. Now let's get some sleep. Uh, six months in prison will make you tired. Um. Huh. That's weird. Somebody managed to break that up while I was sleeping, but okay. Stranger things have happened. Okay, stranger things than this have not happened. This is officially the strangest thing that has happened. Yes. Yes, this is the... Oh, there's strange gravity over there. Hello, Corvo. And a strange man. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? You mean this dream thing? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city. Oh, that. And you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. I hope so. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. Uh. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. Hi, Mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world. Great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power my gift to you oh thank you come find me i guess you missed a lot of birthdays this really makes up for it left control to execute fast and steady forward dash through the world Ooh. anything to loot it's a dream though isn't it oh oh this diving board over here i go off of Oh, Empress. Yeah. And saver. Ah, Piero spiritual remedy. Thanks, Piero. I got the Piero. I got the remedy. I got the Piero. I got the remedy. Ugh. Oh, it refills on its own if I wait a little bit. Oh, 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 there we go. Woo. Don't worry, dear. I'll get it. Corvo, I'm very sad. They say that you're dead like mother. I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. Well, I made it all the way to the dream ether. That's what happens to bottles you throw in the river. Ah, ah. Yeah, they both look a little bit like Agent Smith, don't they? A little bit. A touch of the Hugo weaving. Ah, cool. Meow. Son of a bitch. Stupid toys. I hate you. Well, these things sure are big and terrifying. Certainly going to kill them. I will. Oof. Sorry about all those humans hunting you and stuff. Probably really sucks. You know, especially if you're one of the whales that they find. Presumably they won't find all of them. I really hope they don't anyway. Ah. Ah, yes. Let's go over there. Oh, no! I thought I saw the up arrows. How far does it put me back? Oh, not very far. Thanks, Mark, or Will. 
No, outsider. Give me three names, Mark, Will, and Outsider. In the days that follow, your trials will be great. Cool. Sounds great. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. Oh. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this. The heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Oh. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. We couldn't put it inside like a box with a couple buttons on it or something? Or... Take that as a no. Uh, bone charms and runes through walls. Left control that whispers secrets. This place is the end of all things and the beginning. Oh, okie dokie. Bone charm. Come together, do no harm. I'm a bit of a vile fiend. <laughs> oh, there's a rune down there. Anything over here first? Oh, it's down there. Weird. Whoa. That's whale oil or just a lamp? Anything over here? Nerp. Well, that looks safe. Ish. As safe as anything looks, I suppose. You know what? I kind of I know where that is. Let's just there we go. Regen. That's a little bit nerve wracking. Got it. Are you proud of me, Mark? Outsider will. Outsider will, Mark. Ah. Rune powers, eh? Dark vision. It's very good. Swarm of rats. I don't really want that. Uh, is a dark vision or blink do what I want first? Probably dark vision. Yeah, that's real important. Especially if I don't want to have to trigger the killing. Oh, weapon two, uh, level two shows you like weapons and How stuff. You use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. Yeah, I played this before once. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Oh, did you give a photo? Maybe subscribe. Hi, Mark. Early stages of the plague involve coughing and fevers, and 
can often be remedied by the liberal consumption of Sokolov's elixir. Once bleeding from the eyes occurs, death is inevitable. Should I clear a space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? What are you? Some sort of a basement? Ah! I'm glad I came down here. Alrighty. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. We a ba basement treasure? That sounded a bit rude, didn't it? Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, We'll hide. Act in shadow. Take them apart. Piece by piece. Ooh. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal. Because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Ooh. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Mind if I read over your shoulder before I go? Excerpt from a letter of public concern by anonymous authors. What you've read here is the truth, regardless of what you will hear from the authorities who rule over us. It is not a matter of coincidence that the former royal spymaster is the one who stepped in when the late Empress fell. We, who will remain nameless, believe that these events are interconnected. Signs of oppression are all around us. Uh, we already know all this, don't we? Uh, I'll be printing it soon. Okay. We know that the tall boys are heavily drugged, imbibing substances that are resistant to pain. Oh. That's where those people on the giant stilts were in the dreamland. Ah. Okay. So they basically want to uh, tell everybody that the people in charge are actually evil. And, you know, the truth of what really happened. That's the gist. Oh. Oh. Corvo. Hello. Hi. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I am Sancho. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. Yeah. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. Oh, he's my buddy. But he's a good man and my only family. Oh, good. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Well, I'm protecting you, ain't I? By killing the baddies? Or rendering many of them unconscious. If they're not, you know, definitely bad. Oh, Tavia, you no. Know. Did goodies show up? Goodies? Now that just goes up on that roof. There's something up here. Nope. This roof? 
I mean, I guess I can teleport now, eh? Okay. There are some goodies. Goody, goody. You know, you didn't get all the ore out of this thing. You know? You didn't. Can I get up you? I jump. No, I don't think I can, can I? like I should be able to, but well, not now anyway. Just hurt my ankles there a little bit. Oh, a Cape of Teeth map. Oh, I should have put some money. Okay, that's fine too. Okay, one more book. Mysteries of Pandesia. We'll leave with those other books inside. Excerpts from a book on the far continent Pandesia. At the Academy of Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pandesian continent as a place of wonder, where all of life has entwined and blossomed across eons, producing a vibrant ecology unrivaled in the civilized world. The overseers from the Abbey of the Everyman, by contrast, talk of horror and heresies, of cults of sub-men engaged in brutal, perverse rituals. Oh. The few who have traveled to the far continent and come back to the isles, those who have actually touched the soil there, have returned with notes that describe vast deserts, deep jungles, and outlandish creatures that defy belief. Once in a generation, a great effort is mounted to build a colony there, in hopes of this someday growing into a port city to rival Dunwall itself. But to date, these attempts have all ended in madness and failure. Okay, I think we looted enough for now, eh? Eh? Yeah. Hey, Samuel. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Yeah, I wonder how much money I've looted since I talked to him. I don't think it's enough to buy much, but... <laughs> oh good, more books. What the hell? Got a weird painting on your wall, dude. What can I do for you? Uh, let's talk about uh, upgrades and stuff. Samuel thought it was a good idea. Oh, 636? Nice! 5 out of 10, but it regenerates if I leave it for a little bit. Oh, I do want crossbow accuracy. Accuracy and range. What do I think? Accuracy first? Accuracy first, sure. Bolt capacity? Oh! Standard bolt capacity, not the sleep ones. I'm gonna max these out. <laughs> I want to go non-lethal. I got the combat bolt option though, so that'll come in handy. 
Hey, buddy. You think there's any loot on those islands, Samuel? Samuel, island loot? Probably not, eh? All right, let's just go. Ready to go? Just give the signal. It's a Team America World Police reference. Let's go then. Take me to the distillery district. Let me just put this thing on. It's totally comfortable and not weird and pokey at all to have on my face. High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally to the Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal, and eliminate him. An ally to the Loyalists, Martin is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. And Jeff Kernow, try to do that too. I'll try. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Dang. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Oh. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. I pick Granny Nut Rags. I hurt my ankles a little bit before we left. It made me hungry. Nothing makes me hungry like getting injured. Oh crap, there's somebody already right there. Oh, talk to Granny Rags. Okay. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep him in the boat. Dearest Gwen, the city is going to burn. I've sold everything, so there's nothing for me here now except you. I'll wait for you where Clavering Boulevard crumbles into the river where we used to meet. We'll take the money I've made and bribe our way into a passing whale ship. I won't leave without you. And if you won't come, I'd rather be rat food. Love, Arthur. Got enough shit in it as it is. Yes, yeah, try to get here before I become rat food. I saw me. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no more. All these rats crawling all over everything. One, two, three. Good. Keep them coming. Anything uh, on here? Uh, not that I want to be here. Nope, nothing. Let's go. One, two, three, heave! Heave is right. Whoa! Sorry, I can't help you. I don't know this area well. That's okay. I told her to keep the children inside. I told her. Oh, nasty. Little filth. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Report all deceased family members to the local dead counter. Unreported deaths are a punishable offense. Probably can't go anywhere over there. Service to the state. 
Yeah, it's a survivor. To enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. Ooh. I guess survivors I don't need to do that to. Like I said, I could talk to him. <laughs> so that might have been useful information I just kind of gave up there. Attention, Dunwall citizens. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Any citizens are liable to search or imprisonment at the discretion of the city watch. Sorry, I can't help you. Some... Whoops. Sorry. I thought right mouse button quickly could be a pickpocket, but no. Does that up my chaos rating if I do that back thing? I didn't kill him. What the hell? Yes, I would indeed. Pretty sure that's Granny Rags. This looks like a job for oh, sleep darts. Damn it. Hey, come on. Let's get this guy. All right. Let me out. Did not have to kill. Nope. Can't loot you. I can loot you. Got a, a wee bit of money. Going through the trash reminds me of Stardew Valley. Hi there. How you doing? I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? Just I'll that return mask. the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was at one time, but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Oh. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Yeah, me too. I hear you. What the? What the what? <laughs> now if we're going scavenging, there's some money right in here with you. Bone charm. Maybe I should be looking for these with that freaky heart thing. Bone charms provide small supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening for the song they emit. By default, you can activate up to three bone charms at once. Huh. There's five of them here. It's kind of neat. Bone charm menu? What are your secrets? I can feel the great age ending. Huh. You don't say. Uh, bone charms, a sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice from long back. Passed from father to son, old man salt to greenhorn, still getting his sea legs beneath him. In the old times, men cut into the tusks of ice seals and into the arm long fangs of bears that roamed the isles north of Tyvia. Once the whale trade began, the practitioners went to engraving the bones of those great beasts, rendering charms that sing in the night and grant some small boon to the man's vigor or defense against pregnancy. Oh. Sounds like fun. Strong arms, choking is faster. Yeah. That's handy. Uh, I 
talk to Granny Rags. Yeah, I'll, I'll go talk to Granny Rags. I go find her. Okay, bone charms aren't very close. Oh! Hi there. Hi, Griff. Good to see you again. Hmm. Uh. Link. Don't worry. Sorry, Griff, did that freak you out a little bit? You know, the magic and such. Hello? Really shouldn't make a habit of blundering into places like this. A mother's journal. Eighth entry. It's the fourth day of the month of rain. Morris is sick, and so are the children. I've avoided it thus far, which is good fortune, since it has fallen on me to care for them. Ninth entry. The city's watch comes and goes, knocking on doors and asking for signs of plague. Even our neighbors cannot be trusted. Earlier, it was difficult to keep the children quiet. Now they sleep most of the time. Tenth entry. The flies have set in. I try to keep them away, but I can barely get close. They sting so... Most of the time, Morris won't answer me when I try to talk to him from across the room. Eleventh entry. Morris is gone. I don't know what to do. For now, all my hope is reserved for the children. Leaving the flat for a while near dawn, I found some plague bags from a guard booth while no one was around. It took a while, but I got Morris into one of the bags. At least his face is covered. Oh, that kind of Morris is gone. Young Robert has passed on the twelfth entry. The star of my sky is born, gone. The star of my sky is unborn. Page missing. Seventeenth entry. Elise stopped breathing in the middle of the night. She was such a headstrong girl. I can hardly believe she was overcome. She was always near as I cut up hagfish or vegetables, arguing with me about everything. Eighteenth entry. It is the fourth day of the month of wind. It has settled in that they are lost to me, all of them. I cannot bring myself to call the dead counter. Nineteenth entry. I have a fever now. No guards come near anymore. Oh. Yeah, they kind of gave up on this part of the city, I suppose, eh? Oh my god. Gapper's Tale. Volume 1. Wow, so much. Alright, never mind. Guy's slowly losing it to being a whaler. Pretty understandable, really. And actually, it's been another hour. So I'm going to get up, get some more water, do some stretching. And we'll be back in just four minutes with some more Dishonored with me, Jeffrey No Pants. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon. If you're having fun, don't forget to follow. Subscribe to my YouTube. See you in four minutes.
Hello there. Don't be afraid, little one. I won't hurt you. And I'll try not to hurt as many people as I can in Dishonored. I'm Jeffrey No Pants. Thanks for joining me. On this most stealthy of adventures. Oh, where to? You're 52 meters away. You're 114. Can I even get to you? Seems like I'm getting closer. Better go into that creepy old lady's house. Oh, there's a thing over there to get. Well, I'm glad that wasn't too far to fall. Oh. Oh, rat skewers and food. Okay, never mind. Hello? You got a... You got a rune in here? go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Ah, uh, oh good. Actually, you know what? I used a couple of them. That's perfect. Oh, an urn. I'm sure whoever's in here wouldn't mind. No, with that lady over there who obviously owns it. And this war metal too. Sure, she won't mind that going missing. You know, <laughs> who on earth is fond of their war medals? Hey there, lady. How you doing? Dear. No, it's a human. Is that you, my dear husband? No, oh, the human man. No, dear. Ah, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? What are they? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone ah. on the left. You never listen. Let us in, Granny. Can I just snipe you with sleepy sleep? She's blind, not deaf. Less murder. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. We're here to take your money, Granny. Oh, how rude. She's wasting our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a living. Let's get a drink. I'm dry as an overseer's prick. She's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hear that, Granny? Whatever you've got, Slackjaw gets a cut. Nothing personal. Just bottle street. Open up! Can I zoom in? I don't I don't think there's a way to zoom in on this, is there? Let me have a look. Zoom, left, alt. Nope. I guess that's my mask upgrade. Got him. I'll take your things. 
Do you have any things? No. Got him, Granny. Safe to come out now. No one's gonna come in and steal your things. I mean, I stole them already, but uh, Granny, Granny, they won't. Granny, come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. Oh, thank I you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Uh... Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Oh my. I told you the knives go on the left. So I guess that on the left. it's just a bit further out this way. Oh, birthday gift is a rune. Cool. How did you know? I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. Thanks. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Oh, good. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Uh... Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. I'm trying to now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. She didn't say the cuckoo, but I have I mean I could tell there was a cuckoo. So better blink. Uh, go around the edge. There we go. Vitality. Health is increased and health regeneration is... Oh. Does health regenerate ever? Ooh, bend time. Maybe I should save that up. Yeah. Vitality is pretty cool, but I'm trying not to get into combat. Yeah, so either bend time or another level of blink. Because that's really useful. Granny, granny, granny. Come All about that blink. Instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. Rolly. Knives go on the left. What about the wall of light? Get past the first wall of light. Huh. So I'm definitely doing a side quest first by going, you know, Get to the side. Out. No. I live here now. It's mine now, I take it. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. 
You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Wanting her favor? Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Should probably kill him. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All oh. of it. Well, I'm glad you're not angry, because that made it sound like you were going to hurt me. But <laughs> well, I'm glad we don't have to resort to that violence. Yeah. One more rune and I can travel faster. I think, you know what? I really like that whole uh, traveling faster idea with the blink. Blinky, blinky. Go to Dunwall Whiskey Distillery. Well, the journal said I could use their help to get past the wall of light. Maybe they'll help me. Oh, and there's a rune in there somewhere. Hostile zone. Well, you got anything to smoke or eat? Psh. Oh, there it is. Incendiary bolt. Oh, cool. Ooh. You saw nothing. Just the door opening and closing in the wind. Ah, wall of light, arc pylons, watchtowers. Ooh. Alright, no more elixirs. Means I'm doing a pretty good job, doesn't it? Eh. Well, how do I get into the distillery then? Uh, no. Uh. Ooh, that took less time for sure. Yeah, good stuff. That's a good bone charm. God damn it. He's, uh, he's heavy. Hey, blow off, Joffer. Is it in there? Did I miss it? I guess I went over top of it. Sure looks like a distillery entrance, but oh, 
Oh no. Not here. Oh. Nope, I left. I totally I totally left you guys. back down there and try again. It's just a matter of time, buddy. Yeah, it's nice. I know you're here. Okay, nobody's over here at least. Oh, Tavi and R, cool. Another distillery master key. Sleep darts. Someone wants to get hurt. Heard me. Uh oh. Now he's less suspicious. So much less murder than the first time I played this. Alright, you know, I'm gonna go back up top here where I was the first time. get inside like I'm not even sure what the legitimate correct way to get inside is at this point like it just says keep out definitely somebody about watch it mm. maybe I should come back later eh I could just keep on going ahead. Yeah, it's nice. So long, ready. Any way to go in here? No. Here we go. Braxton, I'm coming tomorrow to check on the batch. Make sure you're wearing pants this time and stick to the recipe. Yeah. Well, I don't want to poison everybody, so maybe the recipe isn't what I need. The distillery district. Uh, across the empire, Old Dunwall whiskey is not only the finest libation of its kind, but it's also an important cultural tradition among discerning folk, sophisticated and common alike. 
captains moving their ships across the great ocean always have a bottle in their quarters for occasions. Fine restaurants and bars keep it in stock, and farmers across Crystal exchange old Dunwall whiskey when healthy children are born. And when unhealthy children are born, they have beer. Some might disagree, preferring highbrow drinks such as King Street Brandy or one of the other brands from Morley, but sales of Old Dunwall have been brisk through the early years of Empress Jasmine Caldwell's reign, a trend that is expected to continue. Aged and bottled in Dunwall's distillery district, Old Dunwall Whiskey is what you want. Used to be empty bottles, so apparently somebody wanted it. Eh. Coming up here. You know where it is. Uh oh. Grimsley job hitting the dumb way to rain stars. So he goes from room to room, kids sleeping, an overseer giving a lecture to the kids. A couple guys oh trying with those hounds. Stuff you'd expect. But it gets weird. Some kind of machinery. Then a woman laughing, just laughing and laughing. The Says he still hears it at night. He never did find his brother. Come on. Oh, Rune of Bone Charm nearby. Okay. Wow, it's real close. I don't think I can get there, though. Let's hide this guy in here then. Okay. Anybody around? Yeah, it's nice. Sort of. Okay, not up here though. So maybe a good hiding place for this bloke would be around the corner. Aha, I got your copper wire. Sure. Yeah. You know what, maybe I should put him a little bit more discreetly? I don't think I can put him more discreetly. There we go. That's like the best of the get. Ah, the rat plague. For over a year I've studied this cursed plague, collecting and dissecting rats by the thousands. Given their rapid gestation and maturation cycle, it's been possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they pass it readily between members of their own species, perhaps through mites. The blood of the rats tells its own story, allowing me to gauge the number of generations that our given group of rats have lived with the plague. As such, a nagging question remains. The rats collected in the poorest parts of town, in the slums, exhibit the oldest strains of the plague, while those found near the docks, where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have encountered our city, exhibit a younger strain of plague. Could this mean that the rats were transported to the slums in some way that is not obvious? I will continue my research. If nothing else, I am living proof that Sokolov's elixir and Piero's remedy are very effective at protecting against the plague, if one consumes enough of the stuff. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. Let's see what's inside. Run. Go down, you pig. Where are you looking? Shut up.
totally thought I was going to be able to strangle that guy from behind. Well, he's not coming after me. So there's that. Is auto vial on? I think auto vial is on. Auto mana elixir. Oh, it's just auto mana elixir. Oh, so maybe that's why I died so easily. I thought you autoed them both. Oh my god. Alright, fine. Well, at least it's easy now. Yeah, go cuddle with your friend. Everybody needs a friend. Even you. Ah. ah, the spring razor trap. Hopefully I will not have to resort using that. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, a lot of empty elixir vials. That's interesting. A couple of coins under the stairs, also interesting. Where's that rune? Oh, this is a spring wire trap. It was pretty close, wasn't it? It's above me, though. Stop that. So how do I get up there then? This is just the lower level where I was, right? Yeah, it is. So if I break in here, that's just to poison the distillery. if I don't want to murder for granny. Maybe there's nothing else for me here right now. Can I get out there? Mm, nope, don't think so. Well, that was some fun stealthing around and uh, Got anything choking people out. Meat. Shut up. Oh, there is a door over there. What if I just teleported, not on top of the barrel, but like in front of it? Come on. Darn it, that's the same place I was. There's literally nothing for me here. Hmm. 
Well, that's interesting. No, no grenades, thanks. Okay, I mean, I'll take them, but... Hopefully I won't have to use them. Hopefully. Uh, get up there. I guess I have to be looking. Can't just jump at it. Yeah, there's a bone charm up there, but I guess I have to get on top of this whole place somehow. I guess I gotta go get out from the other side if I want that bone charm. Okay, dokily. Well, let's just get out of here then. Yeah, barbed wire. There's no way to get up there. And that crane? Uh, maybe if I got blink level 2, but... I don't think I can get that yet. Unless I can climb the crane? Hatters fired the first shot, but Bottle Street Gang fired the last. Oh. Yeah, I can't get over top of that from here. Can I climb you? No. And you're definitely too tall to get up onto you, at least at this point. Although I have two runes. Oh, I need three for that. I'll be back. Someone is still prowling around. It's me. I'm prowling. They see me prowling. They hating. <laughs> Aww. They're friends. Alright, let's get out of here. Mm. So there was another way to go over here, wasn't there? Like over top of this thing? Oh, hey, buddy. Can I get through here yet? Nope. Come see me anytime. Anytime you want to get freaked out. Well, I'm past the first wall of light. Flavoring Boulevard, you say? The eradication of Black Sally. Before Slackjaw ran the streets in the distillery district, there was no boss more ruthless, violent, or dedicated to squeezing the average citizens for coin than Black Sally. Like so many from Morley, she was pale-skinned and green-eyed, with hair as black as the void. They say that she started young, and as a girl she'd stun a man with her looks, coming upon him in an alley, then smile a one-sided smile, and suddenly run him through with a knife. She'd have his money, and be on her way before he breathed his final breath. As a boss, she was worse, ruling over the meanest street gang Dunwall had seen up to that time. Her operation touched everything from shipping to prostitution. She even had a racket going with the ba Baker's Guild. A finger in every pie, indeed. One man watched Captain Jules Robin, made it his mission to stop her, and kept the case going for half a decade. Black Sally met her end when Ro Robin 
had his men light smoke fires in barrels near the warehouse where she hid out during the day. As she and her gang rushed into the streets, terrified the building was burning, Captain Roman and his top officers threw nets over them and ran them all through with blade and pistol shot. You know, once they were captured and harmless. Just killed them all. Now I kind of want to loot Dr. Galvani's office. Eh. This is not the best hiding place. I was hoping for better. Well, is it on? What's it look like? Go on. Toss the damn rat already. That's not very nice. What if I just teleport behind you instead? Well, that seems to be acceptable. What's the best place to stash you? I don't know, bottom of the stairs, I guess? That'll do. Just kill each other. Come on, let's do it. Yeah, I guess they will. That settles that. Huh? Is that Aaron's dice? Hey. Oh man. Stop that. I'll stick you. I didn't want to have to do this, man. Oh man. I'm gonna dump you in the river after I cut you open. Might have been able to use crossbows on him. Sorry. Thought I could sneak up on you. Where anybody? Is it in Dr. Galvani's office? Well, that definitely makes it worth going in there. Doesn't it? It do. It done do it. Well, I'm going in there now, aren't I? the Galvani office. Where presumably there's a bone charm? Whoa. Whoa. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I want to do this one first. You first, you first. Oh, 
Come on. Come with me. Come on then. Here, wait here. Just relax. Hang out with your friend on the couch. That looks comfy. Group yoga starts at nine. You're getting it. They're naturals. Oh, more reading. That's okay. I'll come and read that in a moment. Ooh, too bad I healed myself. There's food in here. Well, let's do a little bit of reading. Born and raised in Gristol, I spent my formative years in our smaller cities before settling in magnificent Dunwall. There in the capital city, I learned to appreciate the finer things. When the opportunity arose to document my travels to Circanos, Tyvia, and finally Morley, I left my position as a clerk for the late Lord Estermont. Perhaps, like so many in Dunwall, I suffer from being excessively cultured, but I found Morley disappointing. Over the course of this journal, I will explain why I found the Festival of Churners to be tiresome, despite the high banners, bare feet, and red robes, and why their renowned jellied ox tongue is something I would be struggling to forget for many years to come. Renowned for all the wrong reasons. I need you. Need the pantry key, eh? Reading log. Lab key and pantry key. You all gonna run out? Alright, well I'll just kill a bunch of you until you're not really a dangerous mob anymore. Seems to be working pretty well. I don't really want you eating people alive anyway in this playthrough. Alright. Nobody coming? Nope. Doesn't look like anybody's coming. Ooh, some medicinal herbs. There's somebody upstairs, that's it. That's a human arm. Oh my god. Red. What's over here? Is there another door? There is another door. No people though. Only them rats. Fortunately I killed enough rats that they're not gonna kill those people I left on the bench. Did I close that door? Maybe I should close that door so the rats don't eat them. It's closed, okay. I'll close that one too. Just so the rats don't, you know, nip at my heels while I'm reading this. Delightful manuscript. Much of the public still harbors false beliefs related to the plague. It is not true that the bile from the river crests will protect you against contraction of the disease, nor is it true that 
crushed Morley orchids act as a remedy, though it is speculated that both of these ingredients are used in both Sokolov's elixir and Piero's remedy. Consumption of these products before exposure to the plague constitutes the only known means of resisting the disease. Further, the Abbey of the Everyman warns against superstitious practices. Not only is it ineffective to burn two hagfish and a cat together, inhaling the vapors while chanting the names of the plague dead, but it is also considered heresy by the overseers and will be met with the full measure of the Abbey's laws. Poor cat. Tell your neighbors and practice these things yourself. Avoid contact with the infected. Consume your ration of elixir daily, preferably in the morning, and report anyone suspected of carrying the plague. Everyone must work together to stop the spread of the dreaded contagion. Yar, they must. Well, those are regular bolts, but I may have to... The third stricture, one of the seven strictures, restrict the restless hands, which quickly becomes the workmates of the outsider. Unfettered by honest labor, they rush to sordid gain, vain pursuits and deeds of violence. Of what value are the hands that steal and kill and destroy? Instead, put your hands to the plow, the fork, the spade. For even the lowliest labor that is rigorous squeezes the muscles as a sponge, rinsing impurities from the mind and the body. Eh, it's good to keep busy. What are you? Just a glowing ashtray? Alright. Glowing ashtray it is. Yeah, it's nice. Anybody up here? There are some people up there. Where'd she go? Did she go to get more help? Am I gonna have to kill the help some more? Oh! Banker Mouse Gulf Map. Oh. Do I have a map? I don't think I do. Not a lot of people over here now. Well, don't need it. <laughs> Broke it for no reason. Why do you have an empty bottle in your display case? Oh, maybe I should throw an empty bottle. Gotta remember that when I'm trying to distract people I don't want to murder. Got your pouch. Just the raddies. Hmm. Oh. 
There's a door over here I should have gone through instead. I know nobody's through because my dark vision's still on. Sleep parts? Okay. Totally maxed. Maximum dots. Any... Ah, Dr. Galvani's journal. Ooh, Mori, Mori Pocket Watch. Cool. That's worth some coin. I've been invited to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course I won't attend. The 28th day of the seventh month, the month of high cold, is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. I will be solving the riddle of the plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of Tyvian red. All right. Still a little more murder than I'd like, but uh... Are you anything important? Nope. All right. Anybody up here? Just you being afraid? Well, that's fine. If you don't mind. Oh, well, if you're the only one left, then that's okay. You can go over there. <laughs> She's snoring. It's so cute the way they all snore. I like it. Well, I'm not really very thirsty. I'll take that whale oil, though. D the danger lab. Rat fetus. Ew. Well, he's trying to cure the plague. I don't think I should break too much stuff. Combination to your safe. The latest case should arrive within a week. Dear Galvani, the latest case should arrive within a week, containing all the components you need. Be careful with the white phosphorus. Can't have you getting fossy jaw like the tanners at the edge of the city, poor bastards. Sorry you have to practice in secret. The vivisectionist should be celebrated, revered even. Cutting up rats should be done in the town square with a crowd of eager students taking notes, not in some dirty little secret room hidden behind a wall of books. Anyway, lucky for you, I to have an old friend who never left the academy. Let me know what else you need, but remember, it might be a month before I can put together another shipment. Yours in knowledge, Artemis Moore, procurement clerk and provisioner of the Academy of Natural Philosophy Southwing. P.S. You have a nice bum. Also, next time you're nearby, come in for an afternoon. We've stayed fairly insulated from the plague since so few come and go here. And we've got quite the stock of Tyvee and brandy. Aha! <laughs> brandy! Brandy, brandy. What? All right. The rat thing in me do's over there. Where's the bloody lead? Little is known of Picotti, credited with this series of pamphlets arguing against the whaling trade. While he is gifted, his views are nonsense and threaten the economic underpinnings of the empire. 1. Enslavement. On the breeding and husbandry of whales versus hunting the beasts in the wild after a natural and free life cycle, Picotti offers no solutions for where these massive malevolent creatures might be pastured. 
to the solution, laments in the destruction of social bonds between herd members. Hardy actually uses the term families. Three, harmony. Drivel on the aesthetic wonder of what is, in reality, the great and terrible ocean that ever threatens to swallow us, includes arguments in the gentle nature of the brutes, a notion refuted by seamen who returned the shore wide-eyed it with tales of the whale's savagery. Or disruption. Here Picotti is on his weakest footing, issuing up feverish warnings against the displacement or transference of natural beasts from their native environments. Hmm. So that goes to Clavery. But it's over there? How do I get over there? I mean, I'll take those, I suppose. Cleaning instructions. In cleaning my study, I ask that you constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether. Otherwise, I'll have to reconsider the terms of your employment. Regards, Dr. Galvani. P.S. Since I'll be out of the city for a few days, I've left next week's pay as well. The bank was closed, so I'm afraid it's short by half. You can count on me for the remainder next week, of course. Will the lady get extra because the gentleman is dead? Oh, for goodness sake, it's on wheels. Take book. There we go. That explains it. Take them coins. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to take that. Sewer capacity in the month of nets. I've been asked to tell the problem, so here it is. It's been every year that we work like men gone mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the work is, is clogged with trash from the catch. Pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hagfish guts too. We got to get rid we got to get it done before the month of rain, or you know what. And it ain't like we get help from those pricks in civil engineering either been at this job for nigh on 28 years and I never seen one of them come below except to measure will it hold when they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges so these last three years been the worst and here's why it's the river crusts moved into the works we hear a man ahead yell and scream like he's burning up and we all climb up fast no other choice Ew. A very crusty river Maybe if I hadn't killed that guy, I would know the combination by now. Anything else? Anything, anything? I see wheels on you. Fake book, fake book. Anybody? Anywhere a fake book? in here. Aha! Oh, there's no code. Sokolov's trips to Pandesia. The men I set out with are good sailors. No doubt half of them have cut their teeth on the rascally pirate ships 
spawned in the Cercanon Archipelago. Oh, they were, I should say. Half of them died before we sighted the broken red cliffs, welcoming those who would visit the far continent, as it is called. Sickness, infighting, poisoned by a school, or would one say a flock of small fish that fly over the waves like birds, landing in the hundreds across the deck, wrecking any they touched with toxic quills, two thrown overboard by gusting demon winds, the quiet Tyvian navigator simply dead in his bunk, wrapped in his white furs, eyes wide with terror. Few have crossed the ocean, and the distance to Pandesia is great, greater than most would imagine. More died climbing the cliffs, and now, with but a handful, I still I stand looking across the greatest expanse of land that exists. My allies are frightened, for this is beyond them, and now their captain is dead too, stung by something that resembled a prairie mole, but reacted with great apoplectic outrage when handled. So it falls on me to lead them. Wow. They're pretty lucky to be back here alive. Let's see. I read you. Not really using the bullets. Little bastards. Hmm. Not finding much about the code. Nothing about the code. Maybe somebody tells me somewhere else? That might be it. Yeah, it's got to be it. Locker code? No. Nah, there's nothing. Alright. Going out the top balcony. That'll help us get across to the next place. Numbers? No. Numbers? Mission clues updated. Oh, it just saves everything I've read in here. Interesting. Oh. Rat behavior and extermination. Well... Will there be something about the code in here? No. It used to be you'd go out with a bag, a stick, with a nail on the end, and catch as many rats as you could in a night. The city watch paid by weight. My husband Benjamin and I mostly worked alone, and we got by. If we found a place where the rats were real bad, sometimes we'd hire a crew of street rats to work with us, the younger ones who didn't make trouble. We'd pay them with bread and apple cider. Once the plague came, the rats were different, meaner, bigger, and a little quicker. You had to watch yourself. If you got cornered, they'd turn and the swarm would come back at you. I barely got away with my skin a few times down in the sewers. The bites hurt afterwards, but it was the sounds they made that stayed in your dreams at night. It got more dangerous, and the city watch started paying better. But it didn't last long because after a while too many people had been stripped clean, trying to fill up a bag. One slip, and they'd be all over you, gnawing and trying to chew down to the bone. That's how I lost my poor Benji. Oh, Benji. respect in size and the coarseness of its fur and i believe in intelligence although the experiments there are not complete coriander zoological survey describes only the ordinary rat which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most this was not a gradual migration could they have been introduced on purpose perhaps by a foreign power hmm. All these bookcases look like they have wheels on them. Hmm. Yeah, there 
create no numbers. Alright, I think we've looted as much as we can for now. Back to the clavering. Well, that looked like a save. And, uh... I'll save again just to be on the safe side. Trying to use the auto saves only. Uh, but I'm doing that for safety. Because, uh, that's all the time we have for today. Great to have you here, though. If you haven't already, consider, uh, dropping a follow. Love to see you back here again. And so, to o one Ella, Oax 2, Alice Idra, Alien Gathering, Commander Root, Draps, Nat Girl, Gamer Cute 2, Goth Girl, Morgane, Lizabay, Kata, Literally Unreal, Lurks, Paul Arigal, Stygian Sticks, Tansu, Massive Underscore, and The Russian Mommy and Violets TV. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Jeffrey No Pants, and I will see you next time.